The staff at the Lee Aki Woodson Art Museum asked me to talk a little bit about just the motivation for doing pieces like this and where do your ideas come from? This is actually, I call this thing an African Grey Goose. And in fact, it is a composite of a number of different gestures of a number of different varieties of geese that I saw in a barnyard several years ago. Uh, I opened up a barn door and suddenly a goose came running out at me and um, I left the, the farm that, the other, that day and I thought, geez, it would just be fun to do sort of a composite of what makes a goose a goose. So I started working on it and I wrote on a little a small model of my thoughts about it and I realized that um, what I wanted to come up with was something that was truly imposing. I mean, somewhat, somewhat frightening. Um, and that required a fair amount of size. I suspect this is bigger than any goose that's ever lived. Um, the head on this goose is actually partly from what was something called a swan goose. And then there was a throat patch that was from something called a um, Chinese brown goose. The body was actually from a different kind of goose. The point is, is that when sculptors are getting, when they're working on pieces, they're trying to basically get across an overall idea of a piece, not necessarily a specific representation of that piece. We call this piece the yard boss just because it scared me to death when I was in the yard. A number of my pieces actually get constructed that way. Uh, I'm not as interested in the absolute accuracy of the, of the piece, more just what is the gesture involved and what do I want to say about that particular animal to talk about an event.